perform input components using custom events. So at this point, we've shown you how to kind of pass data. I guess I guess we should talk about this for one second. Sync. Uh, I'm a little reluctant to talk about sync. So sync. When I first learned Vue on like one ver Vue one or point whatever number it was on, uh, sync made things seem really easy. And sync basically did the two way data binding. So you would say dot sync. And you'd have your two-way data binding. And uh, the problem with that, uh, and as they put in bold here, is makes the code in the child that affects the parent state more consistent and explicit. It basically breaks that one-way data binding. So in version 2.3 plus, they reintroduced the sync uh, modifier for props. But this time, it's only syntactic sugar that automatically expands in an additional into additional v on. So that v on syntax we did previously, same thing. So the following colon foo dot sync. So this would be on uh, or foo dot uh, whatever the value dot sync equals bar, uh, which is a little bit complex syntax. I actually think is expanded into colon foo equals bar at update colon foo value bar value. So and then inside you would specify this dollar sign emit update foo with a new value. And um, it would get that value. So uh, yeah, a little confusing. Um, try not to to do that, I guess when you if, you, if you find yourself going to this all the time, it's probably not the right thing that you're using because um, you want to use that uh, emit system like that to do it and not update the parent from your child, um, the direct value that got passed to it. All right, so then we move into form in comp input components using custom events. So input v model is syntactic sugar for v bind value something, v on input something event target value. So you can see a lot easier to write v model than it is v bind value and input. Uh, when used a custom code in sim simplifies to value colon value something, input value something uh, value. So for component to work with v value, it should, uh, these can be configured in 2.2, the value and input uh, emits. So uh, you can see a currency input V model price, a currency input, and then inside of your input field, in order to use that V model, it needs to be a V bind in, uh, colon value value and V on input updated value event target value. So if you need to do a input field inside of your um, model and referencing the V model values. Of course, here they have a props of value and then some methods that they're going and running so that you can come in here and uh, type in some values. And if I type in A or a letter, it defaults to NA. But if I just type in numbers, it's fine. Uh, and here's the example of putting everything together now where I might put in some values um, and it adds those and computes the values together. Customizing component V model new in 2.2 plus. So here's your view component. It has the model, the prop, the event, and props checked Boolean. And then you say V model foo value some value. And the above, the above will be equivalent to colon checked foo change value foo value value some value. So um, again, pretty straightforward passing in um, your models. If you specify the model then here inside and then say V model checked, uh, you can then specify further inside. Non-parent child communication. So um, this is the where it gets complicated, I guess. So, and it's gonna be something as when you make complex view applications that you're gonna need. You have two components. They are completely somewhat related, but not parent-child relationship. So you need to set up bus. Uh, and this bus concept is you instantiate its own bus, so bus equals new view, and then in component A's method, so bus.emit, id selected is one, and then on, 
bus.id selected. So basically it is a uh, listener and a um, event sent. So you send the event, you listen for that event. So on ID selected, and then you run. Um, that's the basic thing. If you need something more than that, they talk about using state management, uh, which is a whole nother package to go and integrate. And um, it can get complex. I will say that it can get very complex then. Um, so that's it for uh, uh, passing in data. And you can see here, you're just using the emit, but you're passing it as the bus value, which is the new view instance, uh, which you'll need to make. Uh, and you can make uh, a separate view instance from your main one if you need to, to reference some of those values across multiple view instances as well. In the next episode, let's go on to uh, content distribution with slots and slots are pretty cool way of passing some data and making it a lot easier than passing it as the model values as we've done previously.